Okay. Let's play some Metal Gear Solid. One of the best games of all time. A true classic. And I've timed it perfectly as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the intro video. It only appears if you hide around on the uh, main menu for a while. And then we're going to watch the, the briefing. The briefing is very, very boring. It's a very lazy cutscene, but... Here we get the introduction as to what the, the whole game is going to be about. Everyone knows this game. It's uh, fucking fantastic. Well, I guess solid. I can't wait to play it. I, I've got an itch, I've like got an urge to play it, and so here I am on stream doing it. Because why not? Uh, it's going to look a bit janky. I'm playing it on the PS3 just because of the higher resolution, but even then it's. it's it's, it's still quite cropped on the screen, so uh, I'll just cut that bit out so we've got a bit of a background going on. Can stretch it a bit more ugly. It looks ugly already, but you know. In Alaska's Fox Archipelago, was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces. Oh, well, this is voice actor. Members of Fox Hound. Can't remember, remember his name. They're demanding that the, the um, turn over the remains of uncle Big Boss. And ben, ben 10, I remember that. Not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Bit of a difference. Ben 10 and Metal Gear Solid. Two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Oh god, I'm so excited. This badass. Rough ride. Should have worn a neck brace. Flipping about all over the place. High Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. And one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear but we did pick the code names. The Could have called you anything, but you by code we thought this was more dramatic. Target. As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Put a lot of fucking effort into a cutscene a lot of players don't ever actually see. This is kind of a... a cutscene you never see like let, let's players do. Because here is the main menu. If you hang around here for like 20, 30 seconds, then you see that cutscene. While we're here, what we're going to do is have a look at the briefing. And this Metal Gear Solid was weird. Uh, a lot of PS1, no, it's not PS1, it's um, specifically Japanese games swap the X and Circle button. And so it can get a bit confusing. This is before the cutscene we just watched. I'm with ripped he is. Then again, even when he's wearing the full suit later on, you can see his like abs through it. You were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited. He's even got a mullet there. Have a strange. Talk. Invited. That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me. Sorry if they were a little rough with you, but we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Fox. Oh, look at that. You're not my so cool. Anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. So nice is. <laughs> you will take these orders. I know it. 
Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Also stood in front of the fucking camera. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. This injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot? Can we tell them what's in it, though? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, Just you in can this make um, mind after you hear this more image of Snake, he looks so much like Liquid. Way more than he does in the actual game. This is mainly the hair, you know? He looks blonde in that. Okay. Alright, we've got all these. So, because both the briefing and the hidden cutscene at the main menu are both technically skippable, all of this gets explained in each other's like cutscenes, and it gets explain explained all again in the main game, but it's just because, like I said, it's bo both missable. So let's just see what information we can get, if it will let me. So X is the select there. Colonel, and circle is everywhere else. It's so fucking Let me weird. Go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Get dinner on? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake, but this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's oh, enough so dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. By blackmail. Anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us and be a soldier again? You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. That's so cool. And this is like the most intense that Colonel ever gets, and it's in a fucking briefing. But all the codec, codec uh, moments later on is so much, it's very calm, you know, and it's, it's coming back to the main menu, so. Circle to select something, and then on this menu, it's X. It's fucking weird. No, it didn't, it turned me back this time. It's reversed them. What the fuck is going on? Okay, let's try it again. Well, let me select it. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I get it. I understand. I was being a moron. I didn't realize I could go across. Okay. Um, that's a lot of shit. No, that's all side information. We're going to leave that and we'll just get on with the main game. So, let's begin. We're normal. The only real difference is the boss fights. Like, the actual main game. Oh, it's so nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the main game, as long as we don't get caught, we should be should be alright. And I'm hoping we don't get caught. I haven't played this in fucking forever. Jesus, I don't know when was the last time I played this. I played the Twin Snakes on GameCube uh, a couple of years ago when I was sick. I streamed all of it. I haven't played this version, and it is very different. Can be through here? I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. through it all again with Colonel, I believe. He's gonna tell us everything we've already seen in the previous cutscenes. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's do this. Alright, first of all... I'm on playing this on the PS3, let's change some settings. So I like the analog setting. So do 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 and there we go. So now I can use the analog stick. It's a bit um clunky. That's because it's not designed to be used with the analog stick. I don't even remember if it worked in the PlayStation 1 originally. Because it only works in certain games. Go. And he heard me. It's fine. I want to get around this guy. Hmm. Oh, may I trap myself here? No, 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 no. Okay. I think he goes down. Got to my right. Oh shit. Oh, fucking in the first room. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm just gonna get the fuck away. Oh, I didn't mean to do that as well. Yeah, that's a special action. If you're on evasion or alert, you can dive in. Oh, for fuck's sake. I did that myself, I trapped myself. Usually I can get to the forklift in the top right corner without anyone seeing me. Not this time. Can kill them, but I'd rather not. And break their neck. What I am going to do now, I was going to throw the guard up this corridor, but it would uh, alert the guard on the right. He's going to go that way. I believe he can walk. That'll stop the noise in there. Maybe I'm thinking of twin snakes. I certainly there's a walk, walk, a way you can walk. And this is what we would have to do anyway. We'd have to wait for the elevator to come back down. 
but it brings us another guard. If we can get, if we make it to the forklift over here in time, then it makes it much easier. But uh, I've not done so well. You're gonna yawn when you get here? No, you're not. Sometimes it does. Yep. Avoid the water puddle right in the elevator. Oh my god. Okay, one alert, first room. That's embarrassing, but I did do it to myself. If we can not, if we did the same thing I did there, if we throw the first guard on the left, I think we can sneak around and get to the forklift on time, and then you can just hide behind it until you've got an opportunity to run to the elevator once the third guard comes down. I'm gonna hope I don't fail as much as I did there. You know, I should probably practice beforehand. I haven't played this game in years. I'll leave all the evidence that there's an intruder behind. Or somebody to find, you know. Next guy who uses the elevator, like, what the fuck's all this? Ah, so cool. See what I meant about his abs? Seems straight through. I think the design, the built into the suit. So no matter how weak you are, you'll always look intimidating wearing that. You have abs on your abs. Taking like a sassy stance on his way up. They immediately run out. And here we go, this is going to be a long conversation. We're still in the tutorial right now. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Uh, I did set off one alarm. Don't worry out? about that. I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. I always thought that helicopter like, looked like it had a face on it. I have no idea. Are the two dots at the top of her eyes? hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> What's wrong? 
Nothing. Ah, oh, Fangales. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> oh, snake, <laughs> turning on the charm. Me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. Yeah, okay, like I said, still in the tutorial the bit. The dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. But they are nearly sure, blind. Don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate They're the all short side and they all and forgot the, the glasses. DARPA chief. The DARPA Lucky chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. Yeah, we can use My her as a save point. Is it's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to yes, that. Yes, everyone's getting on each by other. By the way, sorry to disappoint you. Mailing, gonna, gonna be jealous now. My smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach, thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. You never know, and it's true. They'll come in handy at one point.